Hello friends, this is Joy Banerjee from AIK IT Support. So today we will see how we can create a VDS, okay, which is a distributive uh, network switch. Okay. So uh, this is the console which I have opened, uh, and from here we will create the DV switch. Okay. So uh, for that I will go to uh, this is my data center, and inside that I have a ESX server, and we have two VMs. Okay. So to create that DB switch, I need to select the ASXI host. Then I will go to configuration, and we will see this is our standard switch, which is having a VM network and as well as a management network. Okay, the VM network has two virtual machine in it. So at this moment, if we select the vSphere distributed switch, we, we are not able to see any distributed switch. Okay, so we need to create a distributed switch first. Okay, so I will show you how we can do it. So we need to go to inventory, then we need to go to networking. Okay, so in the data center we can see this is a VM network which is created and this is a standard switch. So we will create a new distributed switch. To create a new distributed switch we need to right click on lab data center. Then we will click new vSphere distributed switch. Okay. So it will give you an option which version you need to choose. So the version which are compatible with ESX uh, 4.0, 4.1, 5.0, 5.1, 5.5. At this moment we have VMware ESX 5.5, so we will go with this. Okay. So this will be compatible with this version, so I will go with this. Okay. Click next. So this is the default port row. So let's say I'm giving it a name as DV switch 01. Okay. By default, it picks as four uplinks. You can increase the number of uplinks as well. So uplinks is the location on which we can connect our ESX hosts. Okay. So it can be a multiple NICs for a single ESX host. So maximum number of uplinks and maximum number of ASX hosts you can add. Okay. So let's say I'm putting it as six. Click next. Okay. So at this moment I have only one ASX server. So you can add other ASX server later as well. And all the ASX servers which are there in the data center, so it will list here. Okay. So if we uh, Open this uh, tab. Okay, I can see VMNIC one, VMNIC two, VMNIC three, VMNIC four. These are the four NICs which I can see, which I can choose from. Okay, to connect to the uplink. But the first NIC card, which is VMNIC zero, which is not visible here, because only those NICs will be visible here, which are not being utilized by any standard switches. Okay, or any other switches. So at this moment, VMNIC is being used for VM network and as well as the management network. Okay, let's say I'm picking up the VMNIC one. Okay, to connect to the uplink. So click next. Okay, so it will look like this: that uh, this is a DV uh, uplink, and host one is connected to it. It is giving ESX01. Okay, and this is the uplink, and right now we don't have any uh, virtual machines. Okay, so click finish. So when the DV switch is being created, okay, you can see a uh, switch is also get created automatically, and there is a DV port group is also get created, okay. So this is my DV port group. This is how it looks, okay. So let me go to the configuration hosting clusters again. So now if I select the vSphere DV switch, I can see there is a switch exists, okay. And this, there is one uplink. So let's say um, I'm adding uh, another uplink here. Okay. To add that, I will do a manage physical adapter, and I will I will add here. Okay. Click add to NIC. Okay. So let's say I'm adding it. I'm picking the VM NIC two, and I will click OK. Okay. I will click OK again. So you can see. <coughs> Uh, VMNIC2 will also get connected. Okay, I can see now there are two uplinks. Okay, and both the ESX are connected to a two different NICs. Okay, uh, what next? Okay, um, if I want to uh, migrate any of the 
virtual networks so I can migrate from here for example VM kernel if I want to add it okay so I can use a new virtual switch or migrate a virtual switch okay so it gives us a uh, migrate a management network but at this moment we will be looking at migrating our virtual machines to this particular DB port group okay so how we can do it so at this moment we have two uh, VM NICs uh, sorry two uh, virtual machines so I will show you how we can do it I will go to inventory and then I will go to networking again so if I go to the lab and in the virtual machine I can see there are two virtual machines so if I select the VM network which is a standard switch I can see two virtual machines here right and if I select the DV port group here but I don't know see any, any any VM here okay so I will be moving the VM machines to this port group so for that what I have to do is I will right click here and migrate virtual machine networking okay so what will be our source so we need to select the source first okay let's say the VM network is our source where the virtual machine exists and this is our destination so again from the drop down menu I can select the DV switch port group is our destination okay I will click next so it give me the give me the VMs which are listed there okay so I can select this so by default all the machines are being uh, moved okay so uh, if I if I select a single machine I can move it this way as well so I will show you both ways to really uh, migrate the machine to a new uh, DB switch okay so this is the one option and I will click next and then finish so you can see the task is 100% uh, now and not being completed so if I go to the virtual machine now you can see in the DB switch um, this VM has been added okay so now let me go back to host and clusters and now here I can see there is one VM being added okay and in the standard switch again VM2 is there so let's say now uh, how you can move it manually uh, uh, I want to move the VM2 to DB switch now okay so I will select VM2 okay let's say I will select this I go to virtual machine I will right click on the virtual machine I will go to edit setting okay I select network adapters and from the drop down menu I will select the DB switch port group okay and I will click OK So you can see uh, the task has been progressed and it is completed okay so uh, let me go to the configuration again and now you can see in the DV switch there are VM1 and VM2 both are being connected so it's 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 simple right great so thanks a lot for watching this video and please like my video and do subscribe my channel and thanks a lot